that. Last season, Rick Ness and his crew mined $2 million worth of gold. It took a hell of a lot of hard work, um, but we did get our 1,000 ounce gold. I mean, with the, the amount of people that we had and the short time frame that we had, I mean, it was a miracle that we pulled it off. But it's been a long road to Rick's comeback season. Growing up playing sports and music, I knew that I'd put in the work. And so the same thing with mining. Like with Parker, we, we were always successful. Uh, my first year out on my own was, was a major success. The second season, giant bomb. That's it? That's all of it. I fell flat on my face. And it took a lot to get up from that, you know, um, you know, but followed that up with a successful season. This represents you guys' bonuses. Unreal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ever feel like I can stop proving to my crew that there's a reason for them to come back. He's got us out here in Colorado to, uh, I guess, prove to us he's been doing his homework this winter instead of just sitting on his ass. Well, I gotta be convinced here, right? Like, uh, you know, every, every year Rick says he's doing a whole bunch in the off season and nothing gets done. So hopefully this time we, uh, he's got a game plan, right? It's never lost on me, the sacrifice that it takes to go up and gold mine for a season. Carl makes great money when he's not gold mining. Every time he goes, it's a it's a huge risk for him. And he's got big bills. On Cruzy, same thing. He's gotta leave, you know, his family behind for six months. This right here. Represents our future. That's pretty. Oh, see what he's up to. Oh, these jabronis. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, I had to come all the way out to Colorado to hang out with you. Here, man. How you doing, buddy? Good, Good to see you, dude. Yeah, yeah. We think like Colorado. Let's see. Come on, come in here. Check this out, dude. Holy smokes! I just been spouting some gold, dude. That's part of uh, part of the investment into this year, dude. I love it, man. Yeah, I got got a half a million to put into the business this year. That's right. what I need to hear, man. We're going for it, eh? Yeah. So, what's our season goal gonna be this year, buddy? Like, what are we planning on putting on the board there? I'm thinking we'll double it. Double? We'll do two thousand ounces, yeah. Gold prices are staying up there, and uh, the bottom line is is that we're in way better shape than we were last year, and we're gonna get a jump on it. That's why we're here right now. That shows me your commitment to what you're doing. I yeah. mean, you're, it's sitting right there. Yeah. That's all going right back into it. I'm pretty excited about it. Want to go get settled in? Uh, yes, sir. Like learning stuff? Maybe crack a beer? Oh, yeah. Leave that gold Yeah, right shut there. up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's that much. <laughs> when I decide to do something, I do it. And I don't half-ass that kind of thing. It's going to be up to me to make the right decisions on how to spend that gold. You know, that's a lot of money to put out there. Um, and it's, it's going to be a big risk, but you know, I not only owe it to myself, you know, I owe it to my guys. <laughs> you do <too> fat. <laughs> 1,500 miles south, the king of the Klondike is enjoying some R and R. You know how in the airplane, Mike, they got the extensions? Tony Beats and son Mike are hunting for their next big haul. There you go, now you're doing it. He's not fighting very hard. Okay, hey Mike, you gotta be a pro fisherman. First fish I've ever caught. <laughs> Tony has been mining in the Klondike for over 35 years. That's a long way from the 300 bucks I came with, isn't it? Working alongside his family, he's pulled $30 million of gold out of the ground in his last seven years alone. I'd say we did very well. But after a disappointing few seasons. We're not making any money, it's that simple. And with half his operation closed down. We don't have a water license. The two dredges sitting there ready, spend millions of dollars, and I can't believe we can't use any of it. The veteran miner wants to make up for lost time. I'm 64 now, I see no reason to quit or retire or whatever. To cash in on the high gold price, Tony plans to go all in by reopening his claim at Indian River and running it alongside his 1,000-acre claim at Paradise Hill. If we're going to get a license for the Indian River, then the possibility of us doing give or take 9,000 ounces shouldn't be that far out of reach. <laughs> Gold prices up there, the fuel price is still low. So now is the time to get rid of it. Not 
wrong with dredges or trommels, just concentrate on mining. In order to reach that 9,000 ounce goal, we're going to have to invest. What do you think? Hey, I ain't the one who runs the budget if I No, but I mean, we yeah. cannot do those kind of ounces with the equipment that we've got right now. Yeah. Right? Without a question, we have to do something. We're going to have to go out there and do some shopping, I think. Let's go out and have a chat with Mini. To hit a record-breaking 9,000-ounce season, Tony must convince his wife, Minnie, hey, young lady. to bankroll a new fleet of monster earth-moving machines. Hey, you guys, how was the fishing? Excellent. We didn't get roll. So what have you guys been talking about? Mining, of <laughs> course. If we get a license in the Indian River next summer, that means we need more iron, buy more toys. So that's what we've been talking about. So what are you looking at? Oh, we're probably looking at the 11, a couple million bucks. Sorry. I almost lost my cookies there. We had a great year last year. So proud of my guys. Record amount of gold. But now it's a new season. It's a new year. And with every new year comes the same excitement, anticipation. I'm always optimistic that it's going to be better than last year. But the, the difficult part is finding the ground. After beginning his mining career with the Huffmans, for the last three seasons, master prospector Dave Turin has traveled across America resurrecting lost mines and hunting down gold the old timers left behind. When we get gold that they left, it's like, oh yeah. It's hard to find ground. It would be nice one of these years to go two years in a row in the same spot. But if you find good ground and you're a good miner, you hit it out of the park. And that's what I'm hoping to do. Last season, Dave and his crew mined 600 ounces of gold worth over $1 million. But to beat that record-breaking total, he has to kickstart his prospecting mission early. Well, this season, I want to get out as quick as I can and, and start prospecting. And what I'm finding is I have never seen as much competition for this ground. And I'm under pressure. When we were mining in Lynx Creek, there was a guy that approached me and said, hey, I've got this ground. And he asked me to come out and take a look at it. To get ahead of the competition, Dave is expanding his search beyond gold mines. Good morning. Good morning. He's chasing down a lead with Turin crew member Chris Taylor on a 1,400-acre quarry. One of the reasons that I called you was I know you were raised crushing rock, yep. basically. Yep. So we found just here and there we'll find gold in what we crush, and it's in most of the rock, so. Well, you got some gold that came out of that crushed rock? We do have a little. As cowboys, we're not good at it, but we found some. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cowboy, show me the gold. <laughs> That pan right there, it'll have that real little stuff. You can kind of see all the, and that's what we mostly find. Whoa, all right. <clears throat> you got some gold there. Wow. Look at that, Chris. Yeah, yeah. Pretty good. How so, much material was ran so, to get that? I don't know. We don't know what we're doing. We found pickers that you could actually pick up. Dang. So if we got that in one pan, it's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty impressive. Our goal is to find a piece of ground that we can continuously mine. What we're finding is that in the lower 48, there's not much ground left where you can sustain season after season. Do you own the ground? Is it? It's all deeded. It's, it's all deeded, and, and it's all the mineral rights are procured. So. And you have mining permits. All oh yeah. This place seems to have some gold. It's got water. It has everything. You know, it's real accessible to us and. Uh, if there's enough gold, we'll mine here. It's a good start. It's got everything. We got a mining permits, we got water, got creek, we got gold. Right now, I'm pretty excited. We don't see a lot of historical workings here. There were no big dredges coming through or anything like that, so we could be standing on virgin ground. It's got some really good indicators. I'd love to see $35 a yard. That'd be great. 